Hello there again. I just wanted to make another short video um, just to show you um, another way that you can use the uh, FreeMind software from SourceForge. Uh, just to tell you where that is, it is at, Freemind, at SourceForge, no www, SourceForge.net forward slash projects forward slash FreeMind. It is a free software program. Uh, SourceForge is very safe, so you can go to their website and not worry about uh, downloading any kind of viruses or anything. Um, and um, it's a free program. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room on your hard drive as well. So you'll find it's uh, very uh, hard drive friendly. One of the things, and what the whole idea of this is, this is really a way that you uh, you and I think, okay, if we really were thinking about things uh, that's silly. We think about things all the time, but this is the way we think through projects and stuff. Um, and um, I just put together a. Um, uh, I'm trying to learn Spanish, okay. And I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to learn a language, sometimes it's hard. And uh, uh, I've been having a tough time learning Spanish, so I am trying really desperately to do that, but. What I've learned, um, <coughs> excuse me, what I've been able to do is I actually have been using mind mapping to to um, to help learn Spanish. And I'm just going to go over here to Firefox real quick and pick out something that I need for this video. Okay, there we go. And I'll fire up shortly. Okay, what I did was this. I went into it's I am translator it's a uh, add-on for um, that's available for Firefox um, and what I did oops, that's, we don't want that okay what I do what I did was I decided to start with <coughs> using um, this for food because I happen to like food uh, and I thought that would be a great way to start so what I did was... All right. What I did was I put the word food in, and unfortunately it's a little off the size of the page, but okay. And I already have it set up to translate from Eng English into Spanish, so you hit translate, and it takes but a few seconds while well, it figures it out. Okay, well, it's taking its time. So what's going to happen, what we're going to do is we're just going to what? So what I found out was food translated into Spanish is alimento. And I thought, well, okay, what kind of food are there? Well, you know, you have basically meat, cheese, fish, fruits, and vegetables. And I did all of those words, I put them also into I am translator, and uh, came up with the, the Spanish versions of that. Okay, now so I'm tr showing you this is how your mind works. Okay, well, if we have uh, meat, okay, we have a couple of kinds of meat. Okay, we have beef, okay, which is carne de vaca. We have chicken, which is pollo. And we have pork, which is carne de, cer de cerdo. Uh, also, mind mapping, uh, f software for mind mapping uh, for SourceForce allows you to do, it allows you to put pictures in. Just like these would be branches, this is a branch that has a picture in it. Um, and mind mapping works that way, so I don't have to know that this is meat, because all I have to do is look at these pictures over here, and I know we're in a meat category. And I know this particular meat category happens to be beef, alright? So, carne de vaca is beef. Now, here again, what what do you, we can add another branch, and this is how you can actually this is how you learn languages when you're younger. Okay, we're going to earn another, we're going to add another branch here, because uh, what do you get from beef? Well, I'm sure you get a number of things, but one of the things you get from beef, okay, is now don't worry about that. That picture went away. It's going to be back in a minute. Okay, what do you get from beef? You get milk or cows. You get milk, right? So I'm going to hit insert. I'm going to create another branch, okay, which I'm going to bring down a little bit to get better. All right. Now I happen to know that milk is leche in Spanish. Okay. 
hit enter, and now I've created a branch that says milk. Okay. Um, I haven't done one for eggs, but here again, I would if I was doing eggs, oh, we, we're missing one other thing. Okay. Uh, if I was doing chicken, I would put a branch over here. Uh, click on that, hit insert, create another branch. I would put eggs over here. Okay. Yeah, I bring it down a little bit, and then over here, I don't know what you would bring for pork, but you could bring spare ribs. You can just be as creative as you want with this. Uh, I noticed that I'm missing one other branch over here, and that would be a lamb. Okay, that would be the other lamb. But pescado is fish, so I don't really put that in the meat group because it really isn't technically meat. Um, so I could put a picture now. These pictures are available. You just go to Google, Google Image and put in cow. I put in chicken. I put in pig. Found nice little graphic programs, little cartoon kind of things, uh, and uh, they were just about the right size. And I think these were all sizable anyway. So I could have made them smaller if they were a little bit too big. But it's really easy, and that's the whole point of mind mapping, is that it, it starts with one major category and you branch off into others and as you branch off what you want to do is you anyway you get more specific now it would would be that you want to put a picture now over here by leche I would put a bottle of milk okay that would be my next thing all right the only slight drawback is the only way I can put a picture in here because I can go up into insert here and it'll let me insert pictures but I can't do that until I've saved it and I have to save it and open it up again and I could put a picture of milk and a picture of eggs and pork chops I guess if you wanted to put pork chops uh, or anything else you wanted to do over here uh, this obviously is fruit so this is and this is a banana same in Spanish as it is in English um, so I would put, could put a picture of bananas this is pera, pera which is a pear um, Manzana, I don't remember what that is. I have to look that back up again. But I could put, and down here, I could put kinds of vegetables. And the, what's, you know, what, whatever the vegetables are would be pretty much limitless. So this is just a great way, and you could do this for every category. You could do this for people. You could do this for jobs. You could do this, you name it. You could do this. Now, I don't know if your your English, your Spanish teacher or your whatever teacher would really appreciate doing it this way, but you know what? What this is is just a big graphic um, flashcard, in effect, and um, it, I don't know about you, but it makes it really easy for to me for me to remember, because I've got this big graphic now embedded in my brain, and all of these words kind of go with it, and makes it so much easier to learn. So I just wanted to share that with you. I think it's a cool program. Again, I'll put that website back up for you. It's sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash freebind. Uh, download it today and play around with it and uh, really have a ball with it. hope it helps you as much as it helps me. Uh, have a great day.